Hey guys, it's me again, and for this vlog, I have a special guest or two. I have my wonderful mother. She's my baby. And my <laughs> aunt. Woo! So like I've mentioned in my vlogs before, my mom came to visit me here in Australia, which I'm so thankful for. So it's unfortunately the last day of her being here, so... If I'm all puffy faced, it's why. But <laughs> it's okay. But um, I thought it'd be fun to include her in this vlog just to talk about what all we've been doing the last week because it's been busy and I'm exhausted but had a great time. What about you, Mom? Oh, it's been awesome. <laughs> it's been awesome. We'll probably cry through this, but it's probably, all good. But it's okay. <laughs> So, um, I dropped the Carey family off, and then I went on my little adventure. I flew up to Queensland, which I'll talk in a different vlog, and um, spend New Year's, which I'll also talk about in another vlog. But then, January 1st, the best way to start off the New Year, 2020, mm -hmm. um, I picked up my mom and my aunt, um, at like 9 a.m. Yep. Was it? Yep. We had a good flight. Yeah. First long flight. For First you. long flight. 13 hours in the air. That's just from L.A. to here. To Sydney. A long time. Don't recommend doing it, but it's not it as bad. Okay. It, it sounds a lot worse than it actually yeah, is. it was okay. But I've also only been on it once, so we'll see on the way home what it's like. I want to pick them up. Um, instantly bald. Of course. Why not? We came back here to the house because, let's be real, the first thing you want to do is nap and shower. And so after we got, they got situated, then I took them into the big city to see the craziness that is Sydney. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. So we drove into Darling Harbor and parked at Town Hall. And we just did like this huge walking. They said, "Yeah, we're we're good with walking." I walk, like walking. Walk off the jet lag. I'm like, okay, which I'm pretty accustomed to walking everywhere now. So, like, walking eight miles is nothing at this point. But they were a little exhausted. Yeah, a little. <laughs> so um, we walked Darling Harbor. Um, got, I think, a, a milkshake or something, and just kept walking around. I walked them down to the opera house, so they finally we got, to see, got it. to see it. What were your thoughts, Mother? Um, I thought it was going to be white. It's not white. It's kind of yellow. And they explained that on the tour, yeah. that it's not pure white because otherwise you would be blinded when the sun hits yeah. it. But it makes it's sense. Big. I think I thought it would be bigger. But it was cool. It was cool to see it. Yeah. Like I said in that one vlog, it's... Different actually seeing it versus like the photos and such. Yeah, and everywhere you walk, people walk on the wrong side of the sidewalk. <laughs> so it's the right side. No, no, it's the wrong side of the sidewalk. <laughs> so you walk the way you drive your car. Yeah. Oh, and that's another thing. <laughs> Driving the car, riding in the front seat with being on the opposite side. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> Takes some getting used to for oh everyone. I thought she was going to hit every car. She's a really good driver. Very good driver. It's just really weird. It is. Okay. It takes some getting used to. Then where'd we go? After the opera house, we went to the rock. We walked there, and then I took them into the botanical gardens, which are pretty gorgeous and pretty cool to check out the big trees. Mm -hmm. And some... It's very dry, though. Bin chickens. Bin chickens and bush turkey. Bush turkeys. We didn't see any bush turkeys that day, but that's okay. Yeah. And then, so this was only probably about 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and then we went over to the Scary Canary by Town Hall and had a pretty good dinner and got to watch um, New Year's Eve happen in Ooh, New York yeah. City on TV. Yeah. So that was kind of cool to kind of ring in the New Year again. We watched the ball drop in New York City on their TV. That was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. At that point, I could tell they were pretty tired, so we went, came back to the house and kind of just vegged out a little bit. Um, my aunt fell asleep at 6 p.m. Yeah. 
and my mom was going to just close her eyes for about 45 minutes on the couch. Um, ended up taking about a two-hour nap until like 8.45. And then we still went to bed at 10 o'clock and, still went and to slept till 8 the next morning. Yes. So we felt good. Jet lag is very real. Very real, but it wasn't bad. Not a myth. Okay. Um, so then the next day, kind of slept in a little bit. And I wanted to show them a kangaroo and a koala because we're in Australia in and Australia. they're the coolest things ever. So we went to the Taronga Zoo, which is on North Sydney. Beautiful. Um, I've never been here before. I saved it for them. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen a zoo this big before. And it's like on the hillside. Yeah. So you walked all the way down. You had to walk all the way up. It was huge. We got our steps in that day. Yeah. But it was really cool. I would definitely probably see myself coming back there in the next three months. Yeah. To go explore. Because they're pretty cool. A lot, of, a lot of animals. A lot of walking. Um, but that was a good day. Got to finally see your koala and kangaroo and wallabies and wombats, tigers. Mm -hmm. A lot of things. Gorillas. Lots of that hippo. That oh, yeah. Pygmy. A hippo. Pygmo hippo. Pygmy. Pygmy hippo. <laughs> And that gorilla me. that was uh, using a tool. To oh, yeah. Was There's a gorilla really? sticking a stick into this thing to get the jam out. Yeah, that a was a stick. Cool. It was a stick. Not his stick. A stick. I said it was <laughs> Sixth graders. Sixth graders ignore that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it was really cool. So a lot we of were. And hot. Yeah, it was hot that day. Well, not too bad. But we were there until close. And um, so we were kind of out and about. And I'm like, well, have you ever been to IKEA? Because I had just gone there the week before and absolutely loved it. And neither of them had, so we went to I Ikea. Like, yeah, so Why not go to a Swedish store in Australia? Yeah, it's huge. Uh, so we went there. If you've never been to Ikea, go. Because you'll see what we mean. Um, so we just arrows on the floor. You just follow the arrow. Yeah, it's a big showroom, basically. Yeah. Nothing like what I expected. Um, but we they have a market hall there and, like, you can get dinner, so I got Swedish meatballs and potatoes. And my sister got chicken balls chicken and balls. potatoes. <laughs> Why not? I got salmon. So we ate that and then kind of walked around. And I had found these cute little koalas. Look at them. At Ikea. So we stocked up on koalas. I think we've had about five six. or six here all week. Um, so they're really cute. And so adorable. they're coming home with me. They're, they were only $15 here, so, like, most koalas in the souvenir stores go for, like, 30 so. Okay. It's a steal. Then what? Um, we came home. Came home. Went to bed. Because it's exhausting walking around. Mm -hmm. um, so then the next day. Um, we have a list for reading. Yeah, we have a list. We can't remember anything. So the next day, I figured oh, it'd be yeah. good to go into the city again. And this was another really, really busy day. So we started off at St. Mary's Cathedral. Huge and gorgeous. I'd never been there, walked past it, but actually went in it. We lit a candle um, for my grandma and grandpa. Um, and grandpa. Ones. Yes. So Beautiful. that's always meaningful. Beautiful cathedral. From there, we went over to Westfield or Pitt Street Mall where the... They got their pictures in front of the Gucci sign and got to experience what the high class life is like, which I don't. Out of my price range. Mm -hmm. Tiffany and Company, you know, the $6,000 necklace. I was wearing my $10 Walmart shoes. It's fine. No one cared. <laughs> and then um, we went up into the Westfield Tower and got to see views of the city. Um, I think it's just a good way to see where you are in the city, kind of get your surroundings, yep. I pointed out the schools where Aiden sings. Then we quickly got some lunch and went over to the opera house because we were going to go do an opera house tour. That was cool. Very cool. Very cool. The weird thing about the opera house is like nothing has been renovated really since it was built. So it's very old feeling and it's actually inside it's like cement looking until you get into the grand theaters the guy that built it never saw it finished yeah he quit 
and sent his son to finish the project many, many years later. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty cool. We got to see the concert hall and the, what do they call the other one? One was the concert hall and one was where the they theater. do the theater part. They do yeah. like the ballets and the operas. It was pretty cool. Our tour guide was really good. Gave yeah. us a lot of good facts. Yep. And after that, we went and took the gigantic ferry up to Manly. Just we did? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we just did. so I could show, <laughs> we can't remember anything, as you can see. Um, just so I could show the manly, um, we walked along the beach and went to this like fisherman's hole port thing. Walked the little t shops a little bit, not really too much. No, in manly, um, and then we got back on, came back, um, and that night we made some spaghetti here at the house. Oh, felt good just to have a home cooked meal. And probably the weirdest thing that happened is we're sitting around the dinner table. I think we had just taken like three bites of spaghetti and all of a sudden I hear the door open. Now, like somebody's unlocking it. Somebody's unlocking coming it. Coming in the house. Very confused because obviously my host family is in Europe right now. So they should not be walking through those doors. Nope. And next thing I know, it is Anthony, my host dad's family, yeah. um, which I wasn't expecting. Knew they were going to stop by at some point, but um, they're such sweethearts to talk to. So they were just here to water some plants. His mom and his sister. <laughs> his mom, his sister. And a friend. And their neighbor. And two kids. And the two kids, yes. Yeah, so that was nice to meet them. We had a good time talking to them. We learned a lot of new words. Yes. Mozzies. Fireys? Fireys. Um, learn they love Vegemite. Yeah. So if you try it, know that Australian is a little bit. I, I don't. It's kind of funny just because we weren't expecting it, but they're such sweethearts. Mm -hmm. So, yes. It's always good chatting with them. And then Saturday. Saturday, the hottest day. 108. It was so hot. So hot. But we spent it in the only way you can spend hot days and we went to the beach so we went i took them to bondi beach because it's the most famous one and i figure why not that's where you should go we packed up the chairs and the towels and sandwiches had a sun tent thing tent thing yep. books we were ready got there nice and early before too many people were there um it was really crowded it by was the time crowded. we went home. I think we left about three. Three, yeah. It was a good day, though. We went. I went boogie boarding, mm -hmm. which that was fun. I was watching the surfers to try and learn when to catch the wave, and they were nervous about me because they can't swim. It, it was a good, relaxing day. Kathy read a book, finished a book. I read a book. I started a book. Mm -hmm. And then we got some gelato at one of my favorite places. Um... It's called Messina. It's in Tram Sheds over in Glebe. Um, cute place. Very cute. Really, cute. really good gelato. Can't go wrong. I think I had like the chocolate cheesecake. What'd you have? Um, <laughs> we don't remember. Some hazelnut something. Didn't I? Oh yeah, you did have some sort of hazel white, white hazelnut. White hazelnut. It was a trick. Craig had another early night in. I knew they were pretty exhausted. Then we came back home and we watched Crazy Rich Asians. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was it. Um, I had seen this movie and absolutely love this movie. But it basically, it's based in Singapore, but it kind of gives you an understanding of the Sydney. Rich, the richy rich types here in Sydney. Yes, yeah, Sydney has a lot of very, very rich Asians. You'll see them wearing Gucci and yeah. Dolce and & Gabbana and Fendi and Jibanji, like all of these designer brands wearing their fancy dresses at the beach. Um, so I wanted them to watch it just so they could kind of get an understanding of how they get their money and what it's uh, like yeah. for them. So yes, we watched that movie and then went to bed and got ready for our next day. Sunday. Sunday, already Sunday. Mm -hmm. Time is going by way too fast. Um, so the next place they went to, I said that wrong. I suggested we go to church. I suggested not because our time was too short here in Sydney. And you can go to church in Balsam Lake. Uh huh. 
So instead, we compromised and went to a wildlife we went facility. To a wildlife park. God created animals, you know. Yeah, yeah. They were on the ark. <laughs> right. So we went to Featherdale. It was beautiful. It was just like Fonderosa. It so Featherdale is probably like forty-five minutes west of Sydney. So we had to drive a little ways. And it was smoky. Yes. From because the, fires. the Blue Mountains are in that area. I know they're like 40 kilometers and we would have been in the Blue Mountains. So this way um, was way out of the city, close to the fires. But it wasn't too bad at first, I would say. It was worse smoky. on the way home. Yeah. yeah. But Feather Day was awesome. Very mm -hmm. focused on conservation and uh, got to see wallabies. And got to see more koalas. They had so many koalas. Got to feed kangaroos and pet them. And of course, get our picture with a koala. Okay. Which I'll also insert it in okay. case. Okay. Yes, yeah, he was very cute. So, because in New South Wales you can't hold one, we took advantage of taking a picture with touch it. and petting it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I got to pet a kangaroo. Kangaroo petting. Watched a crocodile get fed. They had lots of birds there. Lots of birds. And they had a barnyard. So Leslie went into the barnyard to pet the sheep and the cow. I felt right at home. And I got the turkey to gobble. It was really cool. I would think that that was one of my favorite places. You get really close up to the animal. Yeah. So it was a big, wonderful soup. Yes. It was not too busy either. I mean, there was a decent amount of people, but it was not like the zoo the few days before. Yeah, that was really nice. So after that, we were still out west a little ways. Um, so we went to the Lig Kamal, which really isn't much, but we needed something to eat. So we stopped there. You guys got to do some shopping, mm -hmm. um, explore, just show them kind of what an Australian mall is like or shopping center. Typical, pretty typical. And then on the way home, I took them through Olympic Park and just kind of drove up and down the streets. The Olympics were here in the year 2000, Summer Olympics. A long time ago. A long time ago, but some of the buildings are still there. Yes, the big stadiums are there, so um, it's kind of cool to see. Yeah. So I just drove them up and down the streets to kind of take a gander at what is there. Not much, but you can say you've been there. You've been there. And then we just retired in. Well, we asked her what she wanted for supper. What did she miss? And she said she misses tater tot hot dish. So, And it is tater tot hot dish, not casserole hot dish. So we stopped at a grocery store, and, and my sister Kathy and I went in and bought tater tots and hamburger. Couldn't find any cream of mushroom soup. We had to use cream of chicken. Um, so we made her tater tot hot dish in the... What's that thing called? Aga. In the Aga oven. A-G-A. -A. If you don't know what it is, go Google it. Not a fireplace. That's the Aga oven back there, that white thing. It's, it's really different. It's really weird. But it it got done. Yeah. And we gets, watched a movie. That, yes. That night we watched the stars. A Star is Born, which we had never seen it. So it was pretty good. Was not expecting In that. In the shallow, shallow. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a good movie, I would say. And we were probably in bed by 10 o'clock. We were exhausted. I'm really wearing them out. Mm -hmm. So, Plus, I'm getting worn out. So there's also that. Yeah. So then it was unfortunately already Monday, which Aww. is insane how fast time goes. So we took the ferry into the city. Because we have that wonderful ferry it's stop. Like right out there. Right out the window. You can get on the ferry. Basically. It's so true. It's so close. And so I took them over to my mom's hot. She's so not used to the thirsty. Australian stuff. <laughs> not even that hot out today. Okay. But so we took the ferry into the city and I took them to North Sydney. Took them across the bridge through the train. And we went and walked through Luna Park is just like Coney Island or mm -hmm. nothing fancy, but definitely a touristy spot. We didn't go on any rides. We didn't go on any rides. No. We and don't need rides. And we then walked the famous bridge. Across the Harbor Bridge. It's huge. Unbelievable. The train even goes on it. 
Yes. We took the train over there, and the train crossed this bridge. A train, like a train train. There's two train tracks and, like, seven lanes of traffic yeah, and two walkways. Yeah, eight lanes of traffic. I don't I remember. I think there's remember. eight lanes of traffic. There's a lot of lanes of traffic. And sidewalks. Mm-hmm. <gasps> it's huge. It's crazy. One of my favorite things about Sydney is to walk the bridge, so if you get a chance, do it. It's pretty cool. Very I'll cool. be walking over top the bridge um, at some point. She's going to climb the bridge. Hopefully. Like the top. They put you up in a harness and yeah, you climb up it and you go way up in the arch on the very top. So, so that'll be exciting. That was part of her Christmas present. Ooh. Hopefully I'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks. We'll see. Yep. Uh, um, and then and finally they got to do some souvenir shopping. shopping. I don't think I've ever seen so many touristy things. Kangaroo jerky. <laughs> we look like tourists. Yeah. And I hate look, look, looking like a tourist. But it was okay. I survived. So they did their shopping. We went through the QVB, the Queen Victoria building. We went back to the Pitt Street Mall. And then my mother, being the wonderful mother that she is, surprised me and sort of. And we went into the Pandora store. So for Christmas, I got a Pandora charm for my host family here. So of course I needed a bracelet or something to put it on. And my mom brought me into the store and got me my wonderful Pandora bracelet. Yeah. Very cute. I haven't worn it yet just because I'm scared to do anything. But if you're watching this and want to Venmo me money so I can buy more charms, I'm pretty sure my Venmo username is Leslie Peterson 12 If not, you can look me up. <laughs> just kidding. But I do need a lot more charms. Yep. And I'll probably get a few more here. Put on your Christmas list. True. Okay. So we did that and then showed them Town Hall and the church that Aiden sings at. And their school. And their school. And then we walked down to Chinatown, which is a ways from where we are. And it's definitely an experience. You can tell you're not in the heart of Sydney anymore. Yeah, you can't read any of the signs. Mm -mm. You're definitely in a different part. And then we just took the bus back home and got some Domino's pizza. Pizza for supper. And I think we watched another movie, because why not? And it was called Murder Mystery with Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Good. Actually really good. Wasn't expecting that one. But it was good. Went to bed. And then today, the last day. Last day. Uh, we rode the bus out to Coogee. And we did the famous Coogee to Bondi walk. Beautiful. Just a long walk. Gorgeous. Over cliffs and down and just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. In and out of, in and out of all the little bays and the beaches. beaches. Watch some servers. Halfway Fifth. through, you called Lauren. Yeah. That was Called cute. my goddaughter. She misses me and I miss her quite a bit. Um, but we wanted to confuse her because my mom's here in yeah. Australia. She couldn't but understand why she, I was with Leslie and not home. She didn't really get it. Yeah. She's four. She's four. It's okay. But that was good talking to her, and I miss her. So it'll be good seeing her in three months. Yep. But then back into the city. Yeah. From Bondi, we came back in the city. We still needed a few more souvenirs. Oh, yeah. Got some more last-minute souvenirs. And then Kathy had an idea. <laughs> her idea was to go gambling. We should go to a casino. Why not? Why not? So we walked over to the Big Star Casino, and we went there, and you won 40 bucks. I'm, I got $40, so I was pretty proud of that. I only put 10 in and walked away with 40 so. I only lost five. We won't say how much Kathy lost. Five. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're only in Australia once, right? And then some ice cream. Yeah, we got some ice cream, and now we are back home. Back to Darling Harbor, and then back home. Mm-hmm. We figured we should vlog. We should vlog. Yeah, while she's here, yep. so. So tonight we pack our bags. Yep. And <laughs> Leslie will take us to the airport tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow is January 8th. 
we leave at 11 in the morning and we get to LA at 6.15 in the morning and then we leave um, like 11 o'clock right before noon and we're in Minneapolis by 6 o'clock at night. But that's 13 hours from here to LA and then another four to LA. So we're leaving on January 8th and we're getting home on the 8th, but really there's, and it'll look like only 17 hours in the air. Yeah. It'll be a long day for them. A long day. So but I don't know if we'll be at school on Thursday. We'll see. I heard she's sick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how the jet lag does. But it'll be. It's been amazing. Yeah. It'll be hard to say, see you. She's going to be sad. But she is heading to Taiwan next week or this week. And then the family. And then the UW Eau Claire Blue Gold Marching Band is coming here. So she's meeting up with some of them, and then the family comes back, and then what? And then we're right back in it. The kids right are back in school. The kids are back in school then. And then yep. next thing you know, I'll be home. Then she'll be home. She'll be home for but they see the Easter Bunny. <laughs> so it'll go fast. Yeah. It's just hard to say goodbye because Mama's here, <laughs> and Auntie Kathy's here. So. She'll be all right. There'll be some tears, but she'll be all right. We'll be good. It's just I'm an emotional wreck all the time. So, well, thanks for tuning in to mm -hmm. this wonderful vlog. This was a special one. <laughs> so, the next one will be probably about Taiwan and yeah, all Singapore. those experiences. So, who, who knows when the next one will be up, but we'll get there. So, Bye. see ya.